radioactivity. It was Henri Becquerel, a French physicist in 1896, who discovered radiation. Becquerel noticed that radiation was be given off continuously and didn't depend on external factors such as heat or light. He called the emission of radiation spontaneous. At the time, the dangers of radiation were not known. Radioactivity means giving off of rays. The uranium salt was classed as radioactive. Becquerel's colleagues, Pierre and Marie Curie, studied radiation in more detail. In short, they discovered two radioactive elements, polonium and radium. All three of them won Nobel Prizes. There are three types of radiation, alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha particles are emitted from unstable nucleus of a radioactive element. The particles consist of two protons and two neutrons stuck together. Alpha particles carry a double positive charge. They are the same as the nucleus of a helium atom. It was these alpha particles that Rutherford and his team bombarded tin gold foil to determine the structure of an atom. Alpha particles are quite large compared to the other types of radiation. Because of this, they are slower. Therefore, they cannot penetrate as much as the other two. Alpha particles can be stopped by a sheet of paper. They cannot penetrate skin, so they are generally harmless to us. Americium-241 is an example of an alpha particle. It is used in smoke detectors. Beta particles are essentially fast-moving electrons. A neutron in an unstable nucleus changes into a proton electron. You do not need to know how this occurs. The electron is fired out of the nucleus. Beta particles are lighter than the alpha particles so can penetrate more. 5 mm of aluminium can stop beta particles. Carbon-14 is an example of a beta particle. It is used to find out how old ancient objects are. Gamma radiation doesn't consist of any charged particles. It is high energy electromagnetic radiation. An unstable nucleus emits gamma radiation to get rid of excess energy. The most dangerous type of radiation of the tree due to its high penetrating power. It can only be stopped by thick lead. Cobalt 60 is an example of gamma radiation and it is used to help kill cancerous cells. Radioactivity is defined as a spontaneous breaking up of unstable nuclei with emission of one or more types of radiation. The Geigermuder tube is a device used to detect radiation. It is also known as a GM tube or a Geiger counter. Nuclear reactions. You need to know alpha beta nuclear reactions. Gamma nuclear reactions are not examinable. A nuclear reaction is defined as the process that alters the composition, structure, or energy of an atomic nucleus. You need to know the differences between chemical and nuclear reactions. They love asking these in exams. It is important not to overcomplicate these reactions. Pick a radioactive element. We will use radium here. Write down the mass and atomic number. We know for an alpha particle, a helium nucleus is given off. So write down the helium nucleus and give the mass an atomic number. 
we take the mass and atomic numbers from the radium element, and we are left with 222 atomic mass and 86 for the atomic number. Finally, go to the periodic table, find 86 for the atomic number and record the element. In this case, it is radon. We will repeat the steps for americium-241 element. Record the mass and atomic numbers. Write down the helium atom and minus its atomic number and atomic mass number from the original atom. Find the element the atomic number corresponds to in the periodic table. This is the change of a neutron into a proton and an electron. The electron is then ejected from the nucleus. We will use carbon-14 as our example. Write out carbon-14 mass and atomic numbers. One of the products is our electron. A proton is being created, so the atomic number must increase by 1. Although a proton has been created, the mass number remains the same, as the nucleus is losing a neutron. They cancel each other out. Find the element the atomic number corresponds to in the periodic table. In this case, the element is nitrogen. As with alpha particles, you could be given any radioactive element in the periodic table to apply beta nuclear reactions to, so it would be wise to practice with other elements and not learn off the examples. Transmutation is defined as the changing of one element into another. The half-life of an element is the time taken for half nuclei in a given any given example to decay. Initially the count rate is 400 counts per minute. At half this value, 200 counts per minute. It took 30 minutes. After another 30 minutes, it dropped from 200 to 100, and so forth. Therefore we can conclude that the half-life is 30 minutes. Half-lives of different elements vary dramatically. It is important to practice these questions, as they can be tricky to answer in exams. A radioisotope is simply a radioactive isotope. Applications of radioisotopes. You need to know an example of each. Americium-241 is a radioisotope that emits alpha particles. It is used in smoke detectors. Alpha particles have a very low penetrating power. It cannot penetrate the skin. Carbon dating using the carbon-14 isotope is incredibly useful in determining the age of ancient artifacts. Carbon-14 emits beta particles. Cobalt-60, a radioisotope that emits gamma rays, is used in radiotherapy to kill cancerous cells. Its use is strictly controlled as gamma rays are very dangerous to humans. Cobalt-60 is stored in a lead container.